Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here and let's play some Project Zomboid, shall we? Continuing our quest to maybe try to get some gasoline, put this magazine on the shelf and... You know what I need to do is just build my own trash container or a crate and just start putting in all this. I mean, I have scrap wood. You know, I have tin cans. It's a mess. I, I'm not proud of it. I could go into carpentry and I could try to build, you know. I, mean, I could build shelves. Something like this, a small bookshelf if I wanted. Now, to build stairs... Unfortunately, you need level 6 carpentry. Now, stairs are amazing if I wanted to go up to the roof and put my generator up there. I got some great tips that I don't want my generator uh, my generator where I put it. Like, if I actually power it up, I want to put it someplace else. And that's because uh, it makes a lot of noise. It also has a huge radius that it powers. So, I would be potentially powering nearby homes, which, you know... I don't want to do. Okay. So it's really, really early in the morning. So I could take a little bit of a nap to make the day a bit bright. I think I'll do that. I think I'll take a nap. So what I'm going to do is most probably... I'll just kind of go out here and think about this. I've been adding to this. Oh, it's really hard to see, so I don't want to accidentally fall off, but this little roof that I've been building where I have our rain barrel, I might build this up further, and then we could put the generator up here, and it would still maybe reach out into the neighboring houses and still make noise, but the zombies wouldn't be able to get to it. All right. And so we'd be a little bit safer, because we don't want them to wreck our generator. I mean, how terrible would that be? Um, not tired enough to even sleep. Okay, well, in that case. Um, and life and living on there? Not really, not at 4.20 a.m., not the right time. So instead, well, let's go ahead and read. Get a little bit sleepy, and then wake up with some daylight. I don't want to go prowling around. In my current situation, I have uh, the brown sugar on me and we've got the gas can. So we're pretty much good to go. Oh, this uh, garbage bag we can unload. <laughs> I have so much food. Garbage bag goes right there in the fridge with the rest of the stuff. So what book do we want to read? Let's look at our skills. Close the TV. And let me see here. Uh, the Thompsons. Herb's hair. I have a feeling that all this VHS will do is just, you know, provide me with entertainment, which is okay, but not really what I'm looking for. So what do we not have a boost in? Farming. Well, if we want to start doing farming, we might as well get a boost in that. So uh, let's get a farming one and grab one. We can just start reading. Let me turn on the lights. They were on. All right. And we'll just go ahead to our inventory. Man, where did I put that? Did I put it in my, back, my bag here? Oh, I had this open. Right. Okay. Well, read it. All right, let's read some farming. And it's getting to be 5 a.m. It's pretty good. Let's just speed this up. And when we get real hungry, we can eat. We are a slow reader, as you see. This is not ideal. Getting to be brighter outside. All right, I think I'm going to take a break from reading, and I will go ahead and eat this brown sugar so I'm not carrying it. And then let's go. I know I'm going to get tired, 
but the nice thing is, uh, and there goes that Moodle and we're well fed. I'm going to put back this book. Don't need it while I'm out. And I need to fill my water bottle. So let's do that before we go out and go. It's okay to get tired. Fill our water bottle at our sink. There it goes. And let's ride. I'm going to be looking for a shovel. I'm going to try to clean up any more zombies on my way to potentially finding some service buildings, gas stations, something like that. Okay, I'm going to close this panel. And I'm going to shrink up this portion of my inventory and this as well until we need it. So if I look at the map and I pause it, we've explored this house, but we haven't really done much to explore these houses yet. And we need to look for a shovel. So I might as well. Sheds are my best friend, but... It's not always the easiest to find those. And there were so many zombies over here. Cutting through the tree for no good reason. Alright, I'm gonna, um... I'm actually gonna sneak and just try to get a, a sense for what's left out over here. Look at all these zombies that we took down in this home. So... I like the idea we could just run to a gas station or something like that, but I'm a very careful player, and I think I'm going to just maybe work toward a gas station. I'm not in any dire straits. There's a zombie in that house that I just saw at the door. I'm not in dire straits to get food or electricity or water at this point, so I can just take it uh, and be nice and methodical with this process. Now, I have gloves on, so I was able to not have to clear the glass away from that window. Uh, but we know that there's a zombie right at the front door. Hopefully, there's no more zombies. Alright. So, I'm not sure if that's the animation for, like, the critical strike from behind, but... They're gone. I hear some pounding at the door. see here lobster we had a real uh fine group oh yeah brown sugar jam all of this stuff is just like so good just carb loading on sugar um oh gardening spray can this is terrific okay we want this anything gardening i'm in And sardines. Well, I'm not really in for that. My well, water bottle is okay. Take it. This orange soda is great for everything. Except for long-term health. But And so is the juice box. I'll take it. What do I care? It's fun. I've got a child's juice box. Alright, so let's find the zombie that's banging so we don't have any more complications. Are you here? Are you here? You might be upstairs. It's feeling a lot like upstairs to me. Bath towel, dish towel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be in the garage. Check that out. Yeah, yeah, actually, it sounds really loud. Yep. Alright. Okay, so she was in the closet. And the closet had a hammer. I was really hoping for the good stuff there, like a shovel. Alright, what do we got over here? Duct tape and a hammer. I'll take the duct tape. Okay. Well, the pounding is gone. We got the spray can, which isn't bad. And we got a bunch of food, which is always nice. And we can just check up here. And the more we clear out, the more we just come over here and bust stuff up, get planks. 
slowly boost up our carpentry just in case, but the likelihood that we find something like a shovel up here is pretty slim. There's a hiking bag, actually. So this is capacity 20, encumbrance reduction 70, and our duffel bag, um, let me see. It's hard to see at this Okay, let me drop this, and it's the same as the trauma bag. So the trauma bag is, yeah, the hiking bag is better than our duffel bag. So how about that? Um, I'll just leave the trauma bag there, and I'm going to pick up this hiking backpack, and I'm going to um, equip it on my back. And then my actual duffel bag, I'm going to um, drop it, and then this duffel bag, um, I'm going to... Um, Oh, no, no, no. I actually have to... Uh, here we go. Select it, and then... I'm going to just select all of this, and then put it into my hiking bag. This will take a bit, but this is a better backpack. It distributes the weight better, so it's and it's got more capacity. It's just the best thing that we could have. Um, and then the trauma bag is the same as the duffel bag. So I'll go ahead and just equip this secondary. And so this was a really good find. I mean, we got... I think the hiking bag is the best backpack in the game. I'm pretty sure... I mean, it's one of them anyway. It's f fantastic. All right. What you got? A trumpet. You can use it as a weapon. They're like, we keep our musical instruments in the closet. Uh, here's another gun if I... I don't know. I don't know why I keep taking these. I just walk around with a backpack full of guns later in the game so that I can deal with zombies and I don't care about, you know, noise or anything. I don't know if that ever... If you ever get to that level. All right. And let's see. That is a black corset. Well, if I'm going to a, you know, costume ball, I might want the corset. Uh, bucket hat, rope, baseball hat, yeah. Okay. Almost done here. Large sitting area up here on this house that we could decimate but let's just be careful you never know could be some plunger sheet uh, antibiotics is actually good i do not have this yet and vitamins so we'll take these and just throw them here and be happy about it i'm happy about it all right and let's go over here So this house is searched, but it has a bunch of lumber. I'm going to leave my duffel bag here. I don't think I need it, but, you know, I can always come back and get it if it became a situation. So I'm going to go to the map and pause it, and we're just going to say in blue, check mark on this house. Um, I could... Is it worth leaving a, a note about the fact that there's a duffel bag here? I guess. I don't know. Just for thoroughness, but I really doubt that I'll come back for it. All right. All right, let's just peek over here. And I swear there was a shed. All right, let's check around the backyard here, and uh, there is a shed, eventually, for gardening Nirvana, but 
we've got to make sure that there's not too many zombies. Oh, we already looked through that, didn't we? Yeah, there's that grill. Okay, well then. Say la vie. But we can look in this house. Nice stone brick. Well, kind of gray brick, I guess I should say. Let's get in there. That is definitely a zombie. There's not really a good way to get to this zombie. Just hope that there's no zombies on the other side. Yeah. That was definitely the sneak attack. Nice TV room. Wow. Love it. Alright, is this a closet? It is. What you got? Okay, darn. A lot of stuff. Just stuff we have, not what we need. Look, buddy. Don't appreciate you trying to surprise me. Alright. So there was somebody hanging out in the laundry room. They do have an empty bucket, which isn't bad for collecting rainwater and such. But because we have... Um, there's a propane tank and a box of nails. <coughs> I do love nails. Maybe more than I should. Let's see what they have in these boxes over here. They have, uh, you know, a leather jacket. I mean, it's probably cleaner than mine, but it doesn't have the cool bandages on it. They have denim strips, actually. So I'm going to take these needles and these denim strips, and we can use these for uh, patching up our jeans and, and doing better work. They're, they're, they're tougher than the, you know, raggedy strips I'm using. Oh, there's some ham. Bunch of canned food, too. Really nice. I'm going to eat some ham, you know, while it's not spoiled. Just get ahead of the game and then drink some water and keep checking. I hear some pounding in this house, so you know anything could be happening here. My water bottle is okay. All right, so it's probably upstairs here. Well, I mean, this is another shotgun. It's, it's in terrible condition, but the shells are what we want. That's 24 shells, so we can go out with our shotgun and, uh, you know, have some fun again with it. Okay, Badmins. So, soap's not horrible. Badmins fine. Hair dye, yeah, we want to keep the grays away. All right, I hear it. Uh, that is farming level two, but I actually think I have farming level two. What else you got on this bookshelf? Yeah, I think I'm good on both of those books. Oh, they have a plank. That's kind of them. Hammer, rope, fishing tackle. That could be useful if we want to go fishing. We do have some angler magazines. I'm not going to pick up the plank right now. Okay. So they tried to take a swing at me. I don't think they hit me. Oh, my hand is bandaged. Let's go clean this bandage. It could be dirty for all I know. I'm going to remove the bandage. Got the laceration. Um, let me disinfect it with alcohol. 
and then let's bandage it with adhesive bandages. I think that was overkill. I think it would, number one, have told me if the bandage was dirty, and number two, I don't think I needed to disinfect it, but I'm just being really careful. Okay. All right, let's see what they have in the master bath. I'd love it if they had... Okay, they have a first aid kit. Ah, eh, all it seems to have is tweezers, unfortunately. Boy, they have like three pairs of tweezers. There's a lot of tweezing going on in this house. Immaculate eyebrows for every zombie that we've seen. Empty closet. The conundrum of the empty closet. All right, anything good in here? They have a comic book. Um, this zombie had a bunch of, I do like the lumberjack shirt. Ah, uh, looks like it's pretty useless. Okay. Well, time to press on. Get rid of this panel. Let me see what's on this bookshelf. Uh, Strange Little Men VHS. I take all the VHS. And uh, Satin and Silk might be a tailoring show that we can watch. Carpentry Volume 2, we don't need this. Yeah, we're good. All right, let me just kind of look around here. And yeah, see, there's a whole crowd. I'm going to crouch across the street. But there's a car at this house. So maybe we can get some gas from this white SUV. This might be OJ Simpson's Bronco up here. I'm not sure. If it is, there's no gas in it. But we still want to check. How's it going in there? Looks nice. I'd prefer actually to come through the house. Okay. Let me zoom in a little bit and just get my bearings in this house. I don't want any surprises. Getting a little drowsy as we knew that we would. Uh, let me check this bathroom. Anything in here? now? Just a powder room. All right, what you got in the garage? That's what we're really looking for. Uh, that is a rake, which we already have one of those. That's close to what we need, but... Oh, wait, there should be two compartments to this shelf, right? Uh, what's on the other side? All right, lots of welding stuff. We also need seeds, of course. All right, cat toy, dog food, newspaper, safety goggles, box of nails. I think I have enough nails. And we got what? A radio. Yeah, we have that. Anything in the old VHS? Nope. Okay. Just going to zoom out for a second and just check all of these different areas. Okay, and there's just a pantry. Ah, it's the laundry, all right. What you got in here? A t-shirt and a tank top. Well, of course. Uh, we'll take the key and put it on the key ring, but it's not the car key. Uh, we'll take the garbage bag, of course. Uh, adhesive tape could be useful. That's fine. I'm going to fill my uh, water bottle. Just fill them all, I guess. Make things a little heavier on myself, but that's okay. And let's see what we got here. We got wine glass. We got tumblers. We got chickpeas, mac and cheese, bananas, corn. All right. Downstairs looks pretty safe. I'm going to check the upstairs, and then we could pop out the garage. And look at that car. And if things, if a bunch of zombies go, we can just pull them through the house. 
What do we got? What do we got up here? Oh, it's dark. All right. Flip on the lights while we can. Okay. Yep, some books. Okay. All right. Ooh, they were moving. What you got in here? Jars. Denim strips, great. Thread, great. We could work on our tailoring a little bit. Formal shirts. Ooh, look at this. Fort Knox and Omega Department, VHS. We're going to have a lot of entertainment to watch. Well, we found a school bag. Very nice. Okay. Hmm. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Anything good? I'm really looking for a... Uh... Okay. It's fine. This stuff is fine that we're seeing. It's, you know, not the end of the world. The Pride and Prejudice audiobook. Mr. Darcy, how you doing? Ah, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Bandages and antidepressants. Some actual medical supplies that I want. A knee-length skirt. Pants. Anything over here? Okay, we're good. All right. So, what's on this bookshelf? Let me, the last thing I want to check. Trapping Volume 1. I think I have this. But I'll take it just in case. We haven't worked on trapping much. I just put down a mouse trap. That's pretty much all I've done vis-a-vis -vis that. All right. And let's open the garage. And let me zoom way out. And Okay, there's zombies over there. There are zombies who are... Oh, look at this. They all came over here by this hedge. All right, let me, uh... I can only add gasoline. That's terrible. Let's hope they don't see me. Zero percent. So no gas in the white Bronco either. It's actually just a white SUV, but. All right, so where are we? Let's look at the map, and let's just kind of say that we, in blue, we did this and this. So we could skirt up here, go into these green buildings, maybe up in this commercial district, and see what's going down. Or at least that's what I want to do, but... Oh, okay, we have a zombie coming. All right, no problem. Let's zoom in and uh, thin the herd a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting really tired. I could just sleep in this house if I wanted to be you know, extremely lazy about things, and I kind of do. We just closed the garage door, and this house was free of zombies, so I could take a quick little nap here, set my alarm on my wristwatch. Although, of course, the downside is that it'll be nighttime. I wonder if I could sleep all the way through the night. Let's just sleep. Or 
we'll wake up and uh, hopefully not be awakened by a zombie. It's 2.40 a.m., which is not the best time, but we can read our trapping book while we wait and eat some food in their kitchen. It's diabolically dark in here. Yes, let's go here. Cereal, great. Eat it all. Get something to drink, fill up our water bottles. Wait till it's a little bit lighter outside. Okay, beautiful. Fill my water bottle. And let's just go into... I have a bunch of stuff that I don't need to be carrying. Can I put this in my backpack? You're darn right I can. Now go into your bag and... Find a book called Trapping. Oh, well, it should be in here. There it is. I'm just going to push F5 and just pass time. I am moist. Don't ask. 71 degrees and I'm wearing like 55 layers, so, you know. Just going to wait until we can see it getting lighter outside. There it goes, there it goes. Okay, I'm okay with that. And then I will uh, put trapping away. And we can um, eat some chocolate, I guess, while we're here. I mean, that's my favorite... Uh, brown sugar but good timing on that all right let's go nice and bright all right many zombies over there by the fence but let's just kind of prowl by we will raise up our sneaking just a little bit Wow, there's a lot of zombies. No, they are just on the the war path. So we're going to really have to battle our way over there. All right, we got two stragglers coming. Let me just kind of get myself back around this corner. And let's do this. Here they come. Hi. Hi. Okay, are you coming too? There you come, hi. You got a really nice lime green jacket. I have found, just as I've been experimenting a little bit, that, you know, if I hit them once with the machete to kind of stagger them, and then if I actually walk toward them while I'm pushing, seems to have a greater chance of knocking them down. That could just be anecdotal, you know, and not based in any kind of reality. I could have just gotten lucky on those, but just give me a chance to save my weapon, just do the stomp attack. This guy wants to come over. And again, like, I really don't mind just thinning them out one at a time. For a second, I thought he didn't see me. No, this guy's tough. He does not want to fall down. So take my strategy with a grain of salt, because I couldn't push that guy down. Now, I was able to, you know, just hit him with the, the machete a bunch. He didn't like that. All right, this guy's coming, but there's nobody else, so this is fine. Hi. There you go. 
Ok. I am going to quickly look at my map and just pause it. Any sheds over here? Just one way back there, sadly. All right. Oh, we'll just kind of creep this way. We've got a zombie coming, and that's okay. You see how many zombies are in this park. All right. This zombie wants to fight, but they're through the fence. Ooh, here's two cars right here. Maybe gas. Probably not. I'm just going to hide my inventory panel. And we leveled up our sneaking by being sneaky. How about that? Life is good in this sneaking world. Get down. You know, one thing that's nice about having all this armor... It's a double-edged sword, but it's mostly good. Light-footed goes up. Is that I feel a lot more confident about trying to push the zombies. Because even if they do hit me... Oh, this person made it all the way around the fence. Good for you. Even if they do hit me, I feel safer. Now, the double-edged sword is like... I could get overconfident and perish as a result of that, but... Um, Uh, let's see here. Add gas. Oof. Come on. Alright, the trunk is locked, apparently. Alright, what's in this car? Let's see. By the way, I'm going to zoom out. Just take a gander. And that is zero. This car is smashed beyond repair. Let me check in the glove compartment again, though. All right, seat, seat. Great. Alcohol wipes and bandage. That's pretty good. Uh-oh. Somebody's coming. Oh, no. I didn't think I was going to get out on that side of the car. I thought I was going to get out on the driver's side. They bit me. I think we're dead. Oh, what a disaster. I thought I was... I mistook where I was. But I think getting out of the... um. Oh, we got scratched. Okay, so we're not... Oh, God. Okay, run. <laughs> All right, so we're getting... Uh, oh, 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 okay. Uh, this... Where are all these people coming from? There weren't zombies like this. Okay, I got to get out of here. There really weren't. Like, there were no zombies behind me on the road. So maybe just getting in the car created a lot more noise than I thought. Luckily, we didn't get bitten. It sounded like it. We need to disinfect that. We need to deal with that immediately. Um, so I'm going to go inside this house and see if I can get myself enough time to do that. All right. And we're going to disinfect this. And we're going to bandage it with adhesive. Okay. Okay. So we're no longer bleeding. We're okay. But our armor really shielded us from that. So I think what happened is I switched to the driver's seat, but then when I was looking in the glove box, I went back to the passenger seat. And when I pushed E to leave the vehicle, I thought I was still in the driver's seat and was going to get out of the car on the other side of that zombie and have no problem. Instead, I got out like right next to them. So a good lesson to just be more careful when you're leaving the vehicle to ensure that Okay, they're at the front door. Ensure that it's in your favor, you know, when you leave. Oh, no, she's just at the window. She's got her glasses on. Okay, there's a couple of them. Let's take them out. This is fine. We can inspect the cars in a moment.
Oh boy. I cannot believe I wasn't standing on the zombie. All right. I thought I was standing on her so she couldn't get up, and it almost turned around where that was a disaster. They did. She didn't get me. I got lucky. But that was a weird sequence. Sometimes the detection is, like, a little bit not what you're expecting. Okay. All right. We made it, but, boy, learning the hard way. Okay, so you got to really make sure you're standing on them because she stood right back up. Oh, there's two zombies just standing there. Okay. Yeah, I pulled a bunch of zombies by going for those cars. Okay. Run. Just put your thing down. Okay, that was again. I was I thought I was standing on the zombie and it just stood right up. I'm not sure about I'm just gonna have to get better at usually when you stand on them, they're unable to get up. I was aiming the wrong way. Okay. Oh, this is so bad. I'm just having some meltdowns on combat. Like, ooh, I got two for one. Normally, um... Okay. Normally I was doing way better, but I've just been missing and getting flustered. The classic. Just getting too flustered, but... Woof. Okay, so we're... You know, we're taking a beating here. We were doing flawless, and I talked about overconfidence, but sometimes it's just strange, like, I feel like I was, I think I must have moved my mouse and was no longer aiming at them. Oof, bad, bad job on my part. Okay, let's keep the mouse on this lady. Okay. All right, that time we got her. Goodness gracious. Okay. Well, it's a graveyard. Uh, well, I mean, I guess they're already dead, but... It just goes to show you that I have still have so much to learn about combat. I'm, I feel like I'm getting better at combat, but I still make mistakes, and there's still some strangeness where you got to make sure... Look at how many zombies are down there. Goodness gracious. you got to make sure you're actually standing on them. Keep your aim. Get out of the car on the right side. All kinds of things. Yeah, this. I mean, this is a wolf. There are so many zombies. That's what's going on. All right. They have gas. I'm going to try. I wish I could turn my head while I was siphoning gas. All right. So I actually got some gasoline. I don't think I can... I'm trying to get in this car, but it's not working. I'm going to bail. I'm just going to try to get back to some relative safety. Oh, where's my duffel bag? I must have dropped it back there. Whoops, my, uh, unless it's just in my inventory. Yeah, okay, I'm carrying the trauma bag. Interesting. But, I mean, that's how amazing this character is. I Because of the heavy lifter, like, I'm able to carry that trauma bag. It doesn't have much in it, but I can carry it, plus this gas. So let's just go in here and, um, close the door for a moment. And see how much gas we got. This is a full gas can. Maybe there's more gas in that car. Either way, we finally got ourselves 
a full gas can. I'm going to put it in my hiking bag if possible. That is amazing. Well, everybody, we did it. We got a full gas can uh, from a car, finally. We want to get more gas, but that mission is accomplished. So we still need to get a shovel, and we obviously need to get better at combat. But because we had all of the right first aid stuff, and because, you know, our character is actually good at first aid, we have three levels of this starting out as a doctor. So we were able to patch ourselves up pretty reasonably. Uh, and our armor is also helping us. But we can strengthen our armor. We can repair our stuff, make it better, what can be repaired anyway, and continue. Let's take a look at our machete. You see the condition the machete is wearing down. I've been chopping through so many enemies that I'm going to have to switch weapons at some point. But boy, it's done an amazing job. I don't think I can repair this. Um... Oh, I can with duct tape. I have a 95% chance to repair 50%. Sweet. Let's fix it. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to try. So I just right click. I do repair. And my machete. Look at that. You see how much more durability we just got? That was fantastic. Now, you can't repair stuff indefinitely, but that's a huge step in the right direction on helping out with keeping this machete around because you can see how valuable it is for us everyone thank you so much for watching i hope you're still finding this series to be helpful and fun and my goodness i'll try not to die take care <laughs>